Hello, welcome to Ekidel, where future engineers come to learn social design. Okay, my name is Justice Umoka. I am your instructor. Today, I will be showing you how to design, how to insert, design, and also detail a slender column here in Porta Structure Software. And I am using Porta Structure 2021 version 5.1.252, as you can see it here. Now, this building right now, this is a four-story building, which in my last video, I showed you guys how to insert a balcony cantilever, as you can see it here. So in my last video, we did um, the how to insert this cantilever here in this four-story building. But for today, I'll be showing you how to insert this column. As you can see right now, that this column right now, this is a short column, and this also is a short column. But looking at this right now, this is a slender column. So in Porter Structure, there is a way there is to insert a slender column, as you can see it here. So that's what I'll be showing you right now. Most people make mistake to insert a short column as a slender column. But in this video, I'll be showing you how to insert perfectly a slender column and also tell you what is a, sh what is a short column here in Porter Structure. Okay, so let's begin right now. Okay, right now, before we begin to insert, design and detail our slender column as you can see it here, first of all, I will say that if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I will say you should click on the subscribe button so that you don't miss my coming video because in my coming video, I will be performing a raft foundation for this four-story office complex and also I will show you how to create an opening on a reinforced concrete wall as you can see it here. And also in my next video, we will be performing a full design and also detailing for this office complex. So I will say that if you have not yet subscribed, I will say you should click on the subscribe button so that you don't miss this video. Okay, so right now, before we start to um, insert this uh, standard column right now, I will first of all explain to you what this means. First of all, if you look at this column right now, you can see that this column spans from floor, this floor down to foundation. And, if, and also if you click on this column also, this column spans from this second floor down to this first floor. But if you check on this column right now, you can see that this column spans from the second floor all the way down to the foundation. There is not any form of um, where this column spans from floor to floor. It spans from um, first floor, from this second floor down to foundation. Now, if you check this difference right now, you can see that there is a big difference between this column. This one spans all the way from this, uh, from this um, second floor down to first floor. and But this one spans all the way from second floor down to foundation. Now, there is a big difference between this column right now. This is called a slender column, or you can say a tall column. While this is called a short column, you can see it here. Because this one spans from floor to floor, but this one right now spans from all the way down from second floor down to foundation and also the height of this column is is, is is way way far bigger than this the height of this column okay so right now to, to how to insert this column right now this is called a slender column to insert a slender column right here in portal structure what you do right now is that you first of all i'll have to remove this column right now so i'll just click on this column to delete this column so that you will see how i will insert this column so i'll click on it and delete all these three columns as you can see it right here i'll delete these three columns because these three columns are all called um, slender column so i'll delete them right now and then what i'll do right now since i want it to start from second floor as you can see it here i'll go to my to this um, tree and then activate my second floor to click on second floor as you can see it here second story or second floor now i wanna click on this column right here once i click on column right now i can just walk here on this 3d instead of going down to, to to the plan view so i'll just click right now on this point of column intersection right now click on this point right now once i click on this point this column will be inserted after you have finished setting all your parameters if you do if you, if you want to know how to set these parameters check on my previous videos you'll see how to set this, this column parameters okay so right now you can see that this column right now only on this only starts from the second floor slab and stops at this place. Right now, this column is now waiting for a beam to pass through it. But from this design, there is no beam that will pass through this, this, this column at this point. This, this column was designed to, um, to start from this same second floor down all the way down to this foundation. Now, to do that right now, I'll let's for right now click on this column back, right click, and then say property right now. Now, once I click on, on this right now, this will show it in a dialog box. On this place, length of story, since I want this, this column to span from story two down to the foundation. So I'll come here right now and say start from story two and all the way down. So I'll just put two here and then I'll click on update. Before here was one before. So I'll just, I'll, before it was one, so I'll just click on two. Now, if I want, if if I was inserting, let me this first. If I was inserting this this column at the third floor, I'll 
I will say uh, I will put here three, but for now I'm putting this column at the second floor. So I'll just put here two right now and then click on update. And you see that this column will just pan all the way down to the foundation because I have already changed the length here. So you can see it right now. So if you have not yet um subscribed to my channel, I will say you should click on my subscribe button so that you don't miss my next video on how to design this flat foundation here in Potter Structure. So you can now see that this column has now spanned all the way down from this point to this point. Now, since we have already done th this decent changes we'll just go away all the way down right now to insert for these two columns right now so i'll just go right now and click on this point right now also and also i'll also click once this one insert right now i'll then click on another point and then go right all the way down here and also click on this point to insert this so right now you can see how we have perfectly and successfully um created this um column right here now this column is called a slender column it is different from this column that spans from floor to floor so you can see how we have successfully created this column right here in portal structure there is a big difference most people make this mistake of designing this of sending column like this as a column that spans from floor to floor but this column is called a slender column because the height of this column this column is different from this column as you can see it here this column is a slender column and this is a short column now the big difference is that if you design this your column as a short column why from the main design from the look of the structure this is meant to be designed as a slender column what happens is that when they go to site to go and construct this building if they design this column since this column is seen as a slender column they will, they will have to construct it as a slender column but from your design you designed it as a short column so it what will happen is that it will make this column to buckle because you did not design it as a slender column but rather as a short column so right now you have not known how to how to insert um a slender, a, a slender column here in putter structure now in my, in my in my next video just to keep time in this video to um allow this time to just uh, not to be too long this video i will say that in my next video i will be performing a full um design for this column and also detail and in that course i'll have to design this full structure and also design for the foundation before we can now move to the structural detailing using portal detail and then we can now export it down to autocad and begin our um begin our full detailing of structural of structural drawing now i will say that if you have not yet subscribed to my channel ekidel i will say you should click on my subscribe button on the subscribe button so i don't miss this coming video also if you also have a comment which you want to um, um say or um, have anything to say i will say you should comment it down on right there on the comment section so that i'll also um learn from you and also i will say you should click i will also say you should share this video and also click on the like button so that you don't miss my coming video okay so thank you and then watch for the next